Welcome back to another episode of Let's Talk Boxing. I'm Letty. I'm LB. Yeah. All right, so we have the Filipino Flash, Nonito Donaire versus the Monster Inui. Out of Inui. Japan. Out of Japan. Out of Japan. A little big monster yeah. is the best way to explain yeah. that. Yeah. So, what did you think about the fight? All right, so when this fight got announced, I've been, I was, uh, I was very excited. Uh, for the simple fact of the first one was just such an amazing fight. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? The first time they fought in Japan, um, just to kind of set the stage, the first time that they fought, you know, Inui was, um, you know, he was this, you know, fighter that was, you know, heavily talked about as, you know, the next big thing, you know, but he didn't really have those type of names on his, on his resume. Mm -hmm. And so when he got matched up with Donair, it was kind of like, you know, the legend Donair, many people thought it was going to be like a passing of the torch type of moment with mm -hmm. Nonito Donair, the legend. Um, but when the fight actually, you know, when the fight happened, it ended up being a competitive matchup, you know, throughout the fight, you know, yeah. and back and forth. Um, you even had, um, Nonito Donaire, he, um, broke the orbital bone of, uh, of Inui. So, you know, that's, that just kind of shows like, um, you know, how competitive it was, you know, it was supposed to kind of be a passing of the, uh, passing of the torch moment. And instead it ended up being a competitive fight. Showing that the monster had, you know, he, he was human in a way. You know what I mean? And so, and, and you know, but the monster did win that fight. And I did have him winning that fight. But it was a competitive fight. And um, I, so I was intrigued, to, uh, you know, to see it again. So, talking about the orbital bone fracture, it was uh, kind of cool, lead, you know, um, hearing him talk about it um, leading up to the fight. You know, he says it happened in the second round. And he fought a whole rest of the fight. With, yeah. And, yeah. and in that fight, to be fair, it was like about two years ago that they fought. Um, and when we saw him come out, because we saw when he got hit with that... Um, Nasty his, left hook. Yeah, on his right eye, we were like, oh, shit. And he came back on the, you know, out in the round. And we were like, is that just how his eye normally is? But, like, one eye was, like, way bigger than the other one. So we were like, okay, what, you know? Um... And then, like, you know, is he hurt or whatever? And then come to find out that it was the broken orbital. And he said it was, like, shockwaves that he was feeling yeah. throughout the fight. Yeah, he was saying shockwaves throughout the fight. And he said he was seeing double. He said he was seeing double for the rest of the rounds. And I was like, and to be in there with a Filipino flash for that long, hey, that's serious. That's yeah. serious. But, yeah, so that made it intriguing for the fight. Mm -hmm. um, and so, you know, when we get into the fight, in the beginning it seemed like more of a a chess match, yep. you know, and they were like, neither one wanted to make that first mistake and they were just looking to counter another. And then, and then, um, which they were countering. Yeah, towards, they were. It started getting a little more heavy towards uh -huh. the end of the first round. Uh -huh. They started counter, t t you know, um, counter each other towards the end. Of yeah. That. And then, so then the party got started in the, uh, about 45 seconds left in the uh, first round, you know, uh, you know, where they both exchanged big shots and it ended up. It ended up being a newie with an overhand, an overhand right, mm -hmm. like just at point, uh, the, just point blank range, and dropped him. Yeah, and my predictions was that a newie was gonna stop uh, Nonito Denier. Uh I just thought, and for one, I don't think that a newie wanted to even let the fight go on for so long to, you know, maybe get the chance of Nonito Denier messing up his eye again, because he was talking about like that was sharp pains that he was feeling so i knew that i knew it was going to come yeah. to knock him out yeah he was going to come but um and, and um yeah so he ended up you know knocking him out like with that uh i mean knocking him you know knocking him down in the first round with that overhand right you know and he ended up making it he ended up making it up uh and going down to the second round but um but yeah and then in the second round when it, and then they just started exchanging left hooks and like no Nito donaire is known to have a powerful left hook and uh, but it just shows how powerful Inui's left hook as well. Inui got power in both hands. Yeah, like I said, you know he's I mean? a little big ass monster, and he just walks with so much confidence yeah. too. Yeah, like, it, yeah. And crazy. that yeah, and that knockdown he had was so similar to the one on ESPN. Remember that we saw uh, against Maloney, the Mal Maloney brother, when he landed oh, from Australia. Yeah, we, yeah, yeah, we were it kind of looked that. like that, huh? Kind of, yeah, they, yeah. It was like a running yeah. type of thing. But um, shout shout out to uh, Nonito Denaire too. He's thirty nine to get back in the ring with a twenty nine year old, you know, fighter probably at his prime, um, the monster. So kudos to him for trying to go back there. I mean, he Definitely. win, he took the belts. 
Oh, definitely. To come back to get that rematch. Definitely, yeah. Just to talk about that. I mean, for him to do what he was at his age, many people thought he was just, you know, that and knew he like knew he fight would be it. I mean, in his in his age to still right after that fight to take on a champion, mm -hmm. he took on a champion who'd never been stopped. I think his name was it was it was Zabali. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? And to come out there and to stop him, you know what I mean? He and take his belt. Hey, that that's that's something special. And also right after that, another undefeated fighter who had never been beaten. That's where he went in. You know, that's that's where Nonito was coming from after taking that loss to um to to yeah. Anui. And I wanted I want to say that because, you know, some people are going to try to come out and be like, "Oh, you know, look, yeah, he was, you know, he was old." Yeah, he's older and yeah, Nonito wasn't in his prime, but he is was still at an elite level based on those last two opponents, you know what I mean, yeah. that he fought. He fought better op opposition arguably than Anui did in between. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So that just just kudos to uh Kudos to Nonito Donaire. Yeah, kudos to him. You know, it was like a don't count me out type of shit. Yeah. I went and got to, you know, the belts yeah. for the fight. Yeah. But, but then, uh, yeah, in the second round, um, you know, Anui, at that point, you know, once he started landing some hard shots, they just all started Damn, coming. The yes. left hook, the left hook was nasty. Then he was switching it up with the, with coming back with the right hand. The jab was working. It was, it was, it was, it, it was a uh, rough. No one, it because yeah. Nonito Donaire was just huh. getting punishment and it show i mean and, and we kind of talked about it like you know i mean just the level that nonito was at coming into this fight like you know i mean for for Nui to do that in that short of time we've never seen that happen like you know nonito flip no nonito donaire you know what i mean yeah he's a little you know he's he's not the same as he was before but still yeah that's still a performance you know what i mean and it should be uh it should be looked at as, as such yeah so but yeah, um, you know, with that being said, you know, uh, who, and we kind of talked about who we wanted to see him fight next. But I'm thinking though, is that, you think that's it for, uh, Nomito Denaire? Um, you know what, at this point, um, you know, I, I think it's going to be up to him. You know what I mean? He's, I feel like he's accomplished everything that he really could in the sport. I mean, he's so accomplished already. I know, um, I know Undisputed was, um, his goal and that's what he was talking about in the, um, uh, press conference. But you know it. You know it doesn't look like a. You know right now that that's in the cards. You know you know yeah. just losing to Nui and you know he's only getting older. So you know I. You know it's gonna be up to him. You know if he continues, but you know we'll yeah. just have to wait and see. Yeah. yeah so Nui, I pre I'm pretty sure that talking about undisputed. I'm pretty sure that he's gonna want to go for the undisputed. Yep. It's a trend right now, <laughs> so I think that everybody getting him. He's gonna try to. Yeah. You know, go for yeah. that. Yeah. So you already know what I want. You know, eventually I think he should go undisputed too. Um, I think he should do that first. That should be the first fight. And then after Nui, if he's able to go ahead and undispute. And my boy, cool boy Steph, undispute. You know, he has to go through MJ. I think the two of them would just be an explosive fight. Because then you're now you're bringing in two undisputed champions. You got the undisputed from 118 versus the undisputed 122. And, you know... Um, Fulton isn't really looked at as a power, you know, he doesn't have that power puncher. Then you have the, the smaller guy moving up who Has does it. have the power, you know what I mean? And then, you know, it'll be skills, for, you know, and we've got skills too. Both have both have a lot of skills, um, and it would be a pound for pound fight, you know what I mean? Ooh, yeah. It's a pound for pound fight. And I think it would just be explosive. Yeah, I think yeah. that would be a good ass fight as yeah. well. But I would definitely want, you know, both of them to be undisputed first because it would just make that much fight, bigger. that fight bigger and bring more, bring more attention to the smaller weight classes. Yeah, yeah. So. I think they're putting up for small classes. Though. Oh, yeah, like, they be throwing they down. Skills, power, down, yeah, you know? Yeah. The, it's, it's hella fun to watch. Yeah, they can get down in the speed. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, it's fun to watch. Yeah, it's fun to watch. That's a good one. But uh, yeah, that's all we got. Uh, thanks for tuning in, y'all. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And talk your shit. And we out.